everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Rachel and today I have a school related video for you guys because I'm going back to school in a couple weeks and I'm not very excited about it but I am excited to show you what is in my pencil case. But last year I filmed this video and you guys absolutely loved it so I thought why not film it again? So here I am with my what's in my pencil case video. If you saw my video last year you know that I don't show you what I have for the new year but I show you what I have in last year's pencil case because I don't know about you but my pencil case collects some strange things during the year and I feel like that's more exciting than seeing some brand new pens and pencils in a pencil case. Starting off with my actual pencil case, it is from City Beach. It is pink and white with flamingos on it and bright pink on the back. If you guys saw it at the beginning of last year in my school supplies haul, you would know that it's gotten a little bit less white than it used to be, but I guess that's what happens. So let's start off with the front pocket here. I don't have anything in there. I guess I gave up on using the front pocket. Moving on to the bigger and final pocket. I'm just gonna reach out and grab things out randomly. So I have a red pen, very exciting. These are the big round stick ones and everyone raves about these. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, I love the big, like these ones, they're great pens, I love them. And to be honest, I didn't really like them that much. I prefer the, are they paper mate? I prefer the Ink Joy like clicky pens, so I got those for this year if you saw my school supplies video but these are the ones I had last year and I wasn't that wasn't that um, yeah, they're all right they're not horrible but they're not my favorite I also have <laughs> a calculator this is a scientific calculator it's not like the fanciest one I have a really fancy one up there which I'll show you guys in like two videos time three video in, in like next week or something you'll have to wait to see what that video is but it's just got some buttons and a little screen and fun fact I got this in year seven I'm going to grade 12 and the batteries have never run out so I don't know what's up with this little battery magic that's going on in this thing but somehow this has survived like four five five years year seven year eight year nine year ten eight. yeah so about five years without running out of batteries and I use it like every single day in maths moving on I have this Marbig pencil sharpener. It's one of the ones with the little container at the bottom so you don't have to go to the bin to like sharpen your pencil. You can just use the little container thing and then just empty it every now and again. The only problem with this one is it is like so big. It's like the size of my hand. So this year I got a bit of a smaller one. Still has a container on it because I really like the container because I'm all about that lazy life and not having to get out of my seat to sharpen my pencil. But it's just a bit smaller. I also have three highlighters. These are the Stavolo, Stavolo, I don't know. And I started off the year with four of these. So there was a yellow one as well, but I don't know where that has gone. I feel like pens and pencils literally just run away. Like, where do they even go? Everyone loses them, but where do they go? I don't know. But let me tell you, 2015 was the year of the highlighter in my pencil case. I loved using these highlighters. I use them for everything. I color graded everything. I highlighted everything. I'm that person who highlights every single line of the page because I really like highlighting. But these ones were great quality. Like I said, I use them pretty much every day and colored in like everything with these highlighters. But these haven't run out and that is great. I highly recommend these if you're looking for some quality highlighters, which I know everyone needs in their life. In here, I also have a pair of pink scissors that are looking a bit worse for wear. They've lost this little pink button here that's on the other side, but not on this side. So that's missing. And do you guys know, like, you know when you put lead pencils like grey lead pencils in your pencil case and somehow they just get over everything. I don't understand how it happens but everything just gets black and disgusting and it's horrible. So they were pink but they're kind of greyish now so that's lovely. I also have some more pens. I have some black ones and some blue ones. Another blue one. They're just the round stick ones from Bic. Like I said they're not my favourite but they are alright. But fun fact I prefer blue pen. I'm also slightly confused because I have five grey lead pencils and I started off the year with three so somehow I haven't lost any but I have gained a few which is interesting so I'm sorry for whoever's pencils I stole I didn't mean to I guess I thought they were mine but if you want them back just hit me up on Facebook I'll send them to you like you can have them back because I don't need them I also have a green pen a pink pen a purple pen oh and a blue pen this is the style that I actually like these are the Bic grip clicky colored pens and I really like these ones. I had these ones in 2014 but last year in 2015 I decided to get the Ink Joy ones from Paper Mate and they weren't as good as the other ones that I used to have. I didn't really like them as much and I did have a blue one and an orange one but I don't know where they went. 
So these are the three I have left. Oh no, I do have the orange one still. There it is. So I'm just missing the blue one, which is why I put this blue one in here. <laughs> I also have my friend George's pen. I'm really sorry. One time I forgot to bring my pencil case to school. So I asked to borrow one of her pens and she lent it to me and I still have it. So Georgia, if you're watching this, thank you very much for letting me borrow your pen. I'm very sorry for accidentally stealing it. I also have a mini glue stick. These are the blue stick ones because they're my favorite. It has like a tiny bit left. As I said in my school supplies haul, I prefer the little ones because they fit in my pencil case easily. I also have two paces. <laughs> I also started off the year with one of these and somehow I picked up another one. So I'm sorry. I think I stole it from the graphics room. So maybe I'll just slip it back in there next year. <laughs> but I'm sorry, graphics room. I stole one of your paces by accident but these are really good paces they're 0.5 millimeter which is my favorite I couldn't find any 0.5 ones this year so I got a 0.7 one but I use these for graphics to do all my sketches so these are great I feel like if other people did this video they'd just lose everything and end up with like three pens but somehow I just gained things so I'm sorry about those I'm the pen thief I'm sorry it was me arrest me I also have two markers the first one is a stablo one it's a 0.4 millimeter one and then I have a 0.8 is it? I don't know what it is but it's like a black one. I also use these for graphics. When we do our final sketches we use all these markers and make it look a bit more fancy than just using pencil. So have those. Haven't lost them. That's pretty good. I also have some 0.5 millimeter lead for my pieces. Yippee, doodah. Very fun. Got some lead. Very useful. Love it. And the final thing I have in my pencil case which is definitely one of my favorite things is my flippy ruler. I've seen a lot of people buy these in their school supplies haul. I tried to find a new one this year because this one's getting a bit old and dodgy. Like it's not even a straight line anymore. It kind of bends up a little bit in the middle but I couldn't find any so I guess I'll just use this one again I think this is like the third year that I'm gonna be using it there's a long story behind this one if you watch my what's in my pencil case video from last year it explains the story of this so I'll link it down below if you want to check that out it's like party at the front business at the back you know it's literally the ruler version of a mullet but that is everything I have in my pencil case it's completely empty I hope you guys like this video I love showing you guys what's in my pencil case at the end of the year but if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up up and subscribe if you haven't already it's completely free and it takes like two seconds and all you have to do is click the red button down below also I didn't really mention this but I am sitting at my desk welcome to the new background I just decided to film a few back to school videos up here in my desk in my bedroom because I thought it would be a cool background for back to school videos so I hope you guys like that but other than that I'll see you guys in my next video very soon good